Hello everyone, do-it-yourself gourmet, welcome to the show. Today we've got Italian sausages made of some nice pork. We've got a flat pan and it's turned up to medium high. Now we've let it heat up for a little while because you're going to want to pour this on right before you put it in and put it on. I got two tablespoons of olive oil going on here. And now the second you put them on the pan, they're going to heat up pretty hot. So within about 10 or 20 seconds of putting it on the pan, you want to make sure those sausages go down. There we go. You can already hear the sizzle a bit. And turn the heat up because when you put this on, it's going to draw the heat out of it. And then you're going to give them a nice sear. Now this oil is going to start to spit around. So you're going to want to get them nice and seared and then put a cover on it. That way, number one, they don't dry out. And number two, you don't start getting sprayed with oil all over the place. Now I like to do a nice early twist Get a nice sear to them, get the oil coated all over. You're going to want more time on each side overall, but if you start like this, you give yourself a little bit better down towards the end because you want the sausage casings to be crispy, but you don't want them to break open. And you definitely don't want to get sprayed with oil either. That's no fun. Make sure to keep it right around a medium high because if it gets too high, it will start spitting. Now we're going to let that go at it for just a minute. We're going to put the lid on it. Give that about 30 seconds or so. And then we're going to flip them over a little more. And now once we get all the sides seared, we're going to lower the heat down for about seven minutes. And we're going to lower it to a medium low. And we're going to let it kind of steam and saute itself inside of that little dome over the pan. That way it keeps the heat in, keeps the moisture in, and basically locks the flavor inside of the sausage. Now we've got a nice sizzle and pop going on on the inside. We're going to make sure our heat's at a medium. And then we're going to go and flip them over a little bit. So we take it off. And we flip them around. Now look already, just on the saute like that, they have already got themselves a nice crackling coating. So you know that that works. Put that cover back on, otherwise that oil is going to be going and jumping like a crazy thing. Now, after about another 30 seconds, we're going to lower the heat down to a lower heat. About a medium low, maybe a little bit on the lower side of low. Not to the point where the flame is barely there, but enough that it's going to let it cook and kind of steam the inside. So that way when we go for our final sear, the sausage casing is seared up and the juices are kept inside. Give that a little wipe as we go since we got a minute. Clean as you go is something they teach you in the kitchen. And it's not a bad idea at all. Now, we've given ourselves about 30 seconds or so. Going to lower the heat down, medium low. Maybe give it one more turn around just to give it a look see, see how we're doing. If you got little bits that haven't been seared on the side, try and sand them on the side a little bit. Give it a little bit of time down there in the oil. That way it coats it and it sears it. So that way you're not left with one end that's less cooked than the others. Give them a minute. You can see along here it's still a little bit not cooked. So we're going to give that time on that end. And then we're going to flip it over, just like we did with that one, and just like we're doing with this one. Now paying attention to the casings and treating them gently will make it so that you have a much nicer sausage at the end when you're about to serve. Now we'll put the cap back on. Now we'll let it do its job, put the timer on for 8 minutes, and we'll be back. And now we are back with 45 seconds left on the clock. I'm taking the lid off, shutting off the fire, and we're going to let the carryover cooking do its job. At this point, we're going to let the lid stay off because the little bit of moisture that's evaporating is only going to help to concentrate the flavor even more. Now, about halfway through this, at the four minute mark, we did turn them over because you want to make sure that they don't burn on one side. You got to pay attention to the sausages, otherwise they'll get way too crispy. But what we've got here now is stovetop seared Italian sausage with pork if you don't have a grill, if you want to make sauce, this is the way to do it. The flavors get sealed inside and you capture all the juices. Do it yourself gourmet everybody. We'll see you next time.